Over the last three or four decades, it's become apparent that we've got something of an extinction crisis with amphibians, and that's a global problem. We've already lost uh, somewhere around 165 species globally, and somewhere between 35 and 45 percent of all species remaining are actually considered threatened. Currently at Perth Zoo, we are working with two frog species, the white-bellied frog, which is critically endangered, and the orange-bellied frog, which is listed as vulnerable. Both species have quite small distributions. These guys are literally just in small pockets in the Margaret River region. They have very specific uh, swamp habitat requirements, uh, which is obviously one of the issues. When you look at what their threats are, like an awful lot of threatened species around the world, habitat clearing is a big problem. For the white-bellied frogs, more than 70% of suitable habitat has been cleared. And so the program here is where we've got areas of suitable habitat that's protected and it's big enough to sustain a viable population. The biggest part of our program at the moment is a head starting program, which means that we go out into the wild every year and we collect clutches of eggs and tadpoles and bring them back to the zoo and rear them through until they're juveniles. And then we go back to the wild the following year and we release them into areas that they want to try and start new populations in. By bringing them back to the zoo, we were able to raise the eggs through and we've been able to have 90% plus survival rate to then put more numbers back out into the field and it's given them a head start in life. At the moment there's two parts to our uh, frog program at the zoo. We're still trying to work out how to breed them and we have had some luck. We've bred the white-bellied and the orange-bellied frogs for the first time in captivity but we can't seem to get it to be consistent. So we've bred a few clutches but um, no more than that. So far at Perth Zoo we've released over 500 white-bellied frogs and over 400 orange-bellied frogs. This is a site that had previously gone extinct, so it's a reintroduction. So this site is all animals that have been reared at first zoo. It's sustained itself for at least four years now, so it's, it's proved really successful. Frogs are a key part of many ecosystems. They control certain insects because they prey on invertebrates. They form food for other animals. So our frog program and, and all of the others that are happening around the world are really, really critically important. I enjoy going out in the field and getting to release these guys. It's such a rewarding part of the job. 